Hi there, it's Tom the English Picker here and uh, this is sort of my roundup of the car boot sale and charity shop finds for the past week. As you can see, I'm sporting a rather spiffing um, jacket. I picked this bad boy up from a charity shop uh, with a matching tie for £4.99. Um, Quite a modern one. Uh, it's got a website address in the back, so it's obviously been ordered for that, from that. And um, yeah, I think I should do quite well uh, on it. Um, Someone like a kids entertainer, or even for like a stag do or something, would enjoy owning this. I think it's um, size large, and as you can see, it's got really cool graphics on it. So for five quid, I wasn't going to leave that there. Uh, I'm not going to keep it on because it's bloody boiling, um, but yeah, very cool. So I went to a midweek car boot sale and then I sneaked out on the Sunday, but um, the Sunday it was really bad weather and started to rain, so I only picked up a few bits and um, probably wasn't worth getting out of bed for, but hey-ho. Um, so the midweek one, um, I wandered around. It's a fairly decent car boot sale, actually. And I bumped into a guy, and I think his name was Chris. If I've got that wrong, mate, I'm sorry. Uh, I was in car boot fever, so I wasn't thinking straight. Uh, this guy is, yeah, Lego mad. Really just Lego man mad. Um, he's basically gone all in on Lego, uh, mainly Lego poly bags. And he got loads of Lego poly bags, and he was telling me how he bought thousands and thousands of these. And yeah, I mean, all fair play to him. You know, if it's working for him, that that's that's great. And he got some really good Lego stuff there. So I bought some bits off him. I spent twenty five quid. Um, some of them have already sold actually. So I'll just show you. I won't show you like all the bags. You just need to see the highlights really. Main things I picked up with these Thor. Uh, Marvel ones, uh, which are pretty cool. So uh, yeah, they're quite popular. Um, what I've done with these is I also picked up uh, the Avengers Hawkeye as well. And, and what I'm doing is I'm teaming them up as, as a pair. Um, and these go for a, I can't remember what I'm selling for. I'm selling for around ten quid, ten twelve quid, something like that. And I've sold a couple already. Uh, so that's really cool. I was going to put them on Amazon, but the market's really flooded. So teamed up as a pair seems a better option. Uh, then also I picked up a couple of these uh, Lego Movie Police and Forces. Um, all these are paid around one pound fifty to two pounds for. Um, uh, I think I picked up eight of these ones and whatever the other. And then also I picked up. Um, Star Wars Millennium Falcon Micro Fighters uh, new and sealed box. Uh, he'd only got one of these, um, uh, and I paid the equivalent of five pounds for this. But he did me a really good deal and knocked me about five or six pounds off, which was really decent of him. Uh, so yeah, it was nice to meet up with him, have a chat, um, and whatnot. So yeah, it's just interesting to speak to another reseller and see what their take on it was. So uh, that was cool. Uh, then around the rest of the car boot sale, um, I haven't got it here because it's, it's already gone off to Amazon FBA, but I bought a new and sealed um, copy of uh, Monopoly. And uh, it's quite ironic actually because um, the woman got a sticker on it saying uh, £15, new and sealed. And um, she goes, oh yeah, I, last night I went on Amazon and I've looked the price up and they go for um, 44 99 so that's why I want 15 quid. But the ironic thing is, I've actually already got a copy of that. And that is, I'm the only new copy of that on on Amazon. So she looked up my own listing and priced it based on my listing. So it's my fault that she wanted £15 for it. So, hey ho. I mean, at 15 quid, I can still make, I think... It's about an eight to ten pound profit after all the Amazon fees, and it's really popular. So uh, that other one I've only had in stock for a few weeks, and I expect that to go fairly soon. So um, 
yeah, I've sent that one off and that should get checked in soon. So, uh, yeah, I picked that up, but unfortunately I can't show you because I wanted to get that out as soon as possible. Um, I picked up this, which, this was from a charity shop. I paid two ninety nine for it. It's called an Oregon Scientific Torco Clock. And it's been pat tested, which is cool. Um, this I am going to put on um, eBay because... I won't get it out, but well, there's a speaker grill at the top here, and it's got like all bits in it, like bits of breadcrumbs and stuff. And I've tried vacuuming it all sorts, and it won't come out. And it just doesn't look quite nice enough. And I've looked at the prices on them, and the prices don't differ too much. They're around about the fifteen twenty pounds mark. So with the box and everything, I'll probably ask twenty quid free postage. So for the price I paid, I was well. well Sorry about that guys, technical issues, you know my channel is plagued with the wonders of technical issues. Uh, next thing I picked up was this murder mystery party game. Uh, it's the CD version which is better than the tape version. The cassette tape one does sell but really slowly so if you can get the DVD CD tape ones, they're the better ones. It's a big box version. Um, it's from Oxfam, and they'd only priced it at two pound forty nine, which for Oxfam is fairly cheap. It's new and sealed. Uh, I've sold these in the past for about ten, twelve pounds on eBay. Um, so yeah, always good to look out for. Even if the box is open, as long as the contents are there, you're laughing. I haven't had a chance to check this one yet, um, so we shall see. I paid two ninety nine for it, um, but I know these do well. I think Nick's picked up one of these before. It's Destination Hogwarts. It's a really heavy game. There's loads of pieces in there. But the box is a bit knackered. Uh, but yeah, I mean if it's all there, uh, you're talking about £20-25 for, for that. So fingers crossed. The charity shop where I got it from, I've had terrible luck there with their completeness. This is a... Ch I really have... Sorry about that, <laughs> it's a bit loud. I um, I really avoid getting um, board games from there because I've bought like, ones there before that have just had random like jigsaw puzzle pieces in, in with the board game. One had like sugar cubes in there. It just, they had not checked it, even though it said on the label, complete. So they're just lying, basically. I mean, so we shall see on that. Sorry about that, guys. A bit loud for you then. Um, then from the midweek uh, car boot sale, I did pick up a piece of jewellery. I picked up this little silver ring. It's got sort of um, stylized, almost like tattoo art sort of image imagery on it. It is marked somewhere, just on the inside there, there. But it's a bit rubbed. Uh, it's quite heavy. Uh, I paid four pounds for it, and something like that comfortably in my booth. I'll I'll get fifteen quid for that. It's nice men's ring, which will appeal to quite a lot of people. So that's good. Um, then on the Sunday when it rained, I did manage to pick up a Nerf gun, which is a, a Nerf Raven, and uh, it's got batteries in, and it all works. As far as I can tell, that I how you shoot it. This could go wrong. Pretty cool. So I splashed out on this. I paid six pounds for it, uh, but it came with a load of the, you know, the rounds, and it's in beautiful condition. Really nice condition. Uh, I did look it up at the time, but I can't remember what they go for. But I know it will go for pretty decent money. I'm going to guess about fifteen, twenty quid. Then from the car boot sale, I picked up some hats. Uh, they were cheap. They were like fifty p. So this is got that on there and that there. It's like a golf one, I think. Then an uh, Ed Hardy one. Uh, I've done well on these before. And then this is a golf one. It's got a little golf guy in the front there, and then it says on the back Harrogate 08. So we shall see. I'll probably put them in the antiques booth and we'll see what happens. Then on from the charity shop, these are quite funny. I picked up these which are 
two novelty toilet rolls, designer toilet paper, and um, yeah, uh, probably going to give one as a gift, and uh, well, I'll probably keep them both as gifts. I'll see what they go for online, but they were like twenty p each, so I was I was going to grab them for a bit of fun anyway. So uh, yeah, I mean they may sell on eBay. I I really have no idea, so I have to look up. I imagine that one would do well on eBay, and I'll give that one as a gift. So that was cool. Um, then on the Sunday, I did pick up some games. I picked up some DS games, but I've already... Uh, it was a 3DS uh, Mario game. I've sent that to FBA already. Um, and then I picked up a 360 uh, RPG game and something else. Uh, so that was all right. So that made it worthwhile. And then I picked up... Um, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, Mod, blah, 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 Modern Warfare 2, uh, which a friend of mine was actually after for a pound, so he um, got that off me and uh, bought me a pint in exchange. And then also for five pounds, I picked up these three, and it's a great little bundle. Even with the Master Chief collection that's come out, it's still pretty good. Uh, I've got actually Halo 1 and 2, so I might do like a mega bundle. So we've got Halo 3, Halo 4 and uh, Halo and Combat Evolved Anniversary. The Halo 4 still got a bit of value. Uh, Halo 3, there's just loads of them out there. So I think as a bundle with Halo 1 and 2, that might make a nice little collection. Uh, but with the Master Chief collection coming out, it really has hurt the market on Halo bundles. Then a uh, bit of a random one. Um, don't know if there's any money in this, but it was 50p. It's an MTV... Uh, disc player and uh, it's got like a nice screen on it uh, and whatnot so it's um it's all right but it's got it's got something rattling around in there which doesn't fill me with confidence but for 50p with a set of really nasty headphones which have gone in the bin uh i wasn't gonna leave it there and then also for a quid from the same person i picked up these crazy boots they're kind of um Psytrance, goth, sort of platform boots made by Swear, uh, probably from the, I'm guessing the late 90s, something like that. Leather, yellow, tiny size, but for a quid, I mean, they're just mental. So I'll put these in, um, I might try these in my um, antiques and collectibles booth, because, you know, they're kind of collectible, they're unusual, and I'll just about get away with them. Uh, if not, I might chuck them online, but it's that size, really small. But for a quid, I mean. Then I got some jeans. These are all a pound a pair. I've got a set of Calvin Klein jeans. These are size 30, um, 30, 32 waist, 33 leg, which is a bit of an odd one. Uh, nice condition for a quid. Then, uh, not sure if these are genuine or not, I haven't got a clue, uh, but a pair of Versace uh, jeans, you can see there, um, and these are very sort of the torn up style, so I don't know, but for a quid, you know, even if I took them back to the car boot sale. That's a lady size, um, and then this is a pair of uh, kickers which I didn't know did jeans, and these are uh, 30 regular. So, for a quid, nice condition, bottoms are good, no no issues on that, so I think they'll sell well. Then from Charity Shop, for £3.99, I picked up these. And you think, well, just a pair of old man's smart shoes, but actually, inside, you might not be able to see it. See if you can there. Just at the top there, it says churches, and these are a pair of men's church shoes. Unfortunately, the size is rubbed off, so I've got to work that out. And the model, the style or model, isn't present. But a pair of churches, high-end shoes for four quid. I wasn't gonna leave them there. I'm guessing about twenty quid because you know they are an older style and they they do have their issues. But yeah, pretty good for four quid. Then I'm almost done. I picked up a Wii 
balance board for a quid. Uh, it's got battery acid damage, so I'll see if I can clean that up. But I've had real bother with these bloody Wii balance boards. I sold one on eBay with uh, Wii Fit Plus for, I think it was about 15, 16 quid, something like that. And it, it was working condition. I did test it. It had... It had a clean battery compartment. There may have been the minutest amount of oxidisation, but nothing major. I sold it. It turned up for the woman, and she kicked off to high heaven. It's all rusty in the battery compartment. It does. I can't get it to work. And I, sh I didn't take a picture of the serial number, and I really should have. Um, because I had just no com comeback at all. I, I just kept, had to apologise. And I said to her, I said, oh, what you can try and do if you want is if you get a small bit of sandpaper, if the contacts are corroded, just try and clean them up slightly. And she went mad. I've got two children and I'm not going to start mucking about with electrics, electrics and get them killed. And oh, just overreacted. And the, also the problem was she's opened a item not as described. So I got a defect. I ended up refunding her in full and she kept the item. And I've just been shafted by it all. And it's just like, and I'm still, you know, there's no guarantee that I won't get a negative out of it. So I've got a defect, I've lost out, and that, just because it's her word against mine. And it did work, I guarantee. that. Normally I just plug them in and if the power comes on. But that particular one, I tested it with the disc and everything. And still, I had no comeuppance at all. Um, so... It's just really annoying that she just overreacted. And also, this was a long, drawn-out saga that I replied straight away. But then she took days to get back to me, and then I sent a response. And then took days again to get back to me. So it was always a bit like I wanted either refund her, get it sent back, or get it sorted. But then she would take ages to get back to me, but overreacted unbelievably when she did. So I haven't had... A dickhead customer like that in a long time and it really it really made me I mean normally things you know run off my water, run off my back like a you know they just over my head doesn't bother me well I just think oh there's idiots everywhere but this woman really got you know it niggled at me and I thought am I doing the right you know um, is, is reselling online the thing for me and it really did make me question it because it really did piss me off but um, yeah that's resolved we'll see if I do get a negative I think even if I did get a negative I'd have a reason to probably get it removed because I refunded her replied straight away you know I did all the right things um, it's just rubbish really but anyway another one for a quid this has got some so I'm no longer selling Wii Fit boards online. I'm just going to go and trade this in. CEX, £5 in cash. Thank you very much. So, um, you know, it's not huge money and they're really heavy, but hey-ho. And I think... Oh, no, there's a few more bits. Um, uh, I picked up a load of controllers from the Sunday car boot and the midweek one. Uh, picked up uh, this one... Black PlayStation 2 one for a, um, these were a black one and a silver one in both really nice condition. Paid a fiver for the both of them, which is good because it's all we always need them for consoles because they're always broken. And then these last ones I picked up for a quid each. Got PlayStation 1 one without the the analog sticks for a quid. PlayStation 1. One with uh, the sticks, but they're a bit chewed up. There, yeah, that was a quid. Still, still good. And then a silver PlayStation 2 one for a pound. That's great. The, the silver ones I always have trouble getting. So, for a quid, that was good. And then lastly, I picked up some keyboards. I picked up this Yamaha Porter Sound in the box. It's in there. And then this is off a woman I bought loads of stuff before. And she remembered me, and then I picked up this one in this nice carry case. And I'll show you this one. This one's also a Yamaha. And i do it without dropping it. There we go. It's all in there. Really nice. Classic sort of late 80s, early 90s looking thing. And um, this is also a Porter Sound. And I paid five quid for the two of them. 
so I don't think I can really go wrong with that sort of price. I've got to test them, obviously. If they're not working, if, you know, you know, pretty much in the bin job. But, um, yeah, at those prices, it was worth a gamble on them um, and see what happens. Uh, they'll obviously be um, an eBay thing, pretty heavy, but we should be able to send them via my Hermes. Anyway, this video is getting a bit long, so I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, but thanks to everybody. Um, thanks to Chris uh, for the Lego cool stuff. And um, I'll catch you all soon. See you later.